Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Ugly Tent. I'm car camping at a campground with a bunch of other bushcrafters and YouTubers. Um, I'm at the Spring Meetup 2020. This is uh, the one that Chris from um, Kentucky Woodsman that he puts on. Uh, this is, I think, this is the third year I've known about it. They may have done it more than that. But uh, he goes way out, goes above and beyond, and really does a good job putting this on. So you can see him car camping. And then, yes, believe it or not, I broke down and bought the, uh, bought the big tent. So we're going to give it a try. The reason I bought this tent is because I've got an old, I think it's a Boy Scout. It's either an old Boy Scout or old military surplus cot that a, my neighbor gave me. It's an old wooden and canvas cot, and I am going to use it tonight. Um, trying something different. Uh, you know, I like to venture out. So this isn't an ugly tent. This is a good looking tent, but uh, this is uh, Jenkins, Kentucky. This is way deep in the mountains. And if you don't believe me, you need to come here. This is Fish Pond Lakes where it's at. And it is um, deep, deep in the mountains. And I'll show you the lake. I'll get you some good footage of the lake and meet some of the other bushcrafters and YouTubers. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the video. See you in a bit. Hey folks, my name's Chris. I have a um, YouTube channel called Carolina Chris Outdoors. It's just hunting and fishing, camping, hiking, canoeing, and stuff like that. I do a lot of cooking too. Hey guys, I'm Lewis, and my channel is a West Virginia Outdoorsman. I like to hunt, fish, camp, and travel quite a bit. A lot of travel videos on there. Uh, come by and give us a check out. Everybody probably knows ZZ, but go ahead. Well, some of you do, maybe. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. My name's Harley, and uh, ZZ Outdoors is my channel. I do the same thing most all these other guys do. We practice some bushcraft, or I practice some bushcraft, but mostly camping. I don't do any hiking, uh, but I do love to get out in the kayak every chance I get. Get a chance. Look me over. Cool with the modern twist. Awesome. What do you do on there? Well, we do just a variety of about anything. It all well, depends on what mood we're in. <laughs> we might do some carving, a lot of gardening. No man, it's an awful big um, I, pine. Donna and I, fine. she's helped me butcher huh? a hog. And it just all depends what, what day it is. Awesome. And what's going on at well, the if time? You come down here and fish with us. I'll let you fish with my fishing rod. Right. I know, but Donna, I'm gonna have you show me your uh, setup later on because it's really cool. All right, hey, you want to see it kind of toward the nighttime too? Because I got my lights. <laughs> okay, we'll you do. didn't get to see my lights last <laughs> night, man. I like to light it up, you know. <laughs> I found that little pot there, the little frying pan the other day. That's cool. And we want to try that out. We've got the bigger ones. I'll show you them in the back Nashville. of the truck there. But, uh, uh, this is my water bottle right here. Oh, look at those. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. I got to get in frame. There we go. Look at that. You can see, uh, I've engraved the blade part of it there. If you look at it, mm -hmm. it's a little spider web. <laughs> we put the little spider web on the spoon there. That's awesome. There's the spoon, here, and here's the fork. Look at that. Now that, fantastic. Golly! There's the fork. <laughs> Look at that. And uh, we've even got a. Uh, yeah. Brother, that is awesome. <laughs> even a little, like a little, little uh, meat cleaver that will carry. I think that was a cheese knife or something. But we just kind of converted it over to. You know, when you're out there in the. It, this is That's a work of art. It's a kayak and a canoe. Okay, all right, all right. 
That's awesome. I got uh, something else here if you want to see it real quick. Heck yeah, show me. The, uh, yeah, we like to craft now. And, uh, let me see here. Oh, I'm sure this is my, uh, this is cutting board. Wow. We did the leather work. Now this is our cutting board and it's a bowl. <laughs> I'll let you take a look at it. It's pretty cool. Oh, oh my goodness. And we, we put the snake head and the tail on it. <laughs> that is incredible. Beautiful. Now is that burnt? Isn't it? You burn that, that in? That's burned in there. Look at the work. Look, that's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Uh, the snake head and the tail—that's a deer antler. Wow. And, uh, where the head is, of course, we carved it out, but that's where it's hooked on. Is you know where they join together. Yeah. That's that part right there. Like there was a the one to come off. You know what I mean? That's fantastic. Uh, real quick. I'd be afraid to use that. So use the back side of a carving board and the front side for a bowl. Yeah, this is to cut your meat or onion or whatever. Nah, you got to use it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean it, you can. Uh, yeah. You can put it up on the shelf, but it ain't to look at. It's really you need to. Yeah. I tell people. I'm the same way. I use my stuff. Let me see if I can. Oh, I got another. I was telling. Now here's a little pot. <laughs> oh, man, that is awesome. <laughs> we try to match them up here. We we do like kind of like the snakes, and you know when you're out looking for them more rails and stuff, you want to always a little reminder what it looks like. Yeah, that joker's <laughs> laying out there someplace. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, they, <laughs> that's you know, fantastic. That's about all I brought. Buddy, that's, me, that's good. That's awesome. Thank you for showing me. Well, you're welcome. That's well, I want to welcome everybody to the uh, Bushcraft in the Mountains meetup. We're here in Letcher County, Kentucky. This is the third year we did this here in Letcher County. Um, I didn't start the meetup. It was actually started by Kenneth Cram and uh, Billy uh, Joe Denny and uh, Bob Knight. And it started off in uh, Big South Fork in Tennessee near Oneida. And they had it there for several years. And they basically got tired of fooling with it. So then it transferred to another fellow for a short time. And then I ended up taking it over and we moved it here to this area. So this is the third year. Every year we have a good turnout. It's open to the public if they want to come out and have some, learn some skills, you know, fire building and different things like that. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to have many from the local area. I'm not surprised with all everything going on. But if you uh, want to have a good time, get out and join us. We'll hopefully be doing this next year and from now on for a long time to come. So awesome. thanks everybody for, uh, or thanks Kenny for stopping by and uh, we appreciate him uh, coming out. So. so tell me about your channel real quick. I am Chris with the Kentucky Wisdom Channel. Uh, a lot of people don't know me, some people do, but uh, I'm uh, in Southeastern Kentucky. Most of my stuff is uh, kind of mini adventure based, I guess you'd say, with a little bit of bushcraft thrown in on the side from here and there. But just get out and have a good time and show life as it happens. Yeah. So. Uh, my channel, it's Appalachian Outdoor Adventures, and it's uh, just family, friends, just a little something we do. Me and these guys right here, we just all just awesome just make memories i guess you know cool. something to have on it nothing fancy cool just we have fun outdoors fishing hunting playing camping <laughs> sounds good yeah that's an ugly tent Or no, strawberry and blackberry pie or cobbler, whatever you want to call it. It's moving. Ooh. It's alive. That's beautiful. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, you built your stand. Golly. Out on the lake with ZZ. How y'all doing? <laughs> this is Fish Pond Lake. It is by far the clearest uh, fresh water other than springs I've ever been to but th this is amazing it's 80 feet deep in certain parts it's beautiful and you can see turtles fish I mean big bass uh, of course they don't bite but I mean it is just absolutely beautiful so me and the kayak me and Roisha my kayak have been out yesterday and today um, I didn't take my 
camera. I was just enjoying the um, fellowship and the camaraderie with the fellas. And I didn't didn't, sh didn't shoot a lot. I got some footage, but it's amazing. Beautiful place. So this has been a really great experience, a great camp out. Uh, I want to thank Chris, the Kentucky Woodsman, for putting this on. This is a lot of work, a lot of effort, and he, he really doesn't get anything out of it other than just the joy of doing it. So my hat's off to him. This has been wonderful. I'm going to show you around the lake real quick. So when you go back this way, it goes back to like a little boat dock area. It doesn't go very far. Little coves like this. It's not a great big lake, but it's just packed so much in it. It's been awesome. Now there is, I will warn you this, there is a road that goes all the way around the lake. So you do get some traffic. You get some noise from the traffic. But um, the trade-off, I mean, it's worth it. You know, to hear a little bit of traffic, to be out here, it's worth it. So if you ever get a chance to check out Fish Pond Lake, uh, you need to do it. Or if you get a chance to come to the one of the meetups, you need to try to do it. It's a lot of fun. But we've pretty much had it to ourselves. There's some fishermen come out this morning, a couple of um, guys in a little flat bottom boat. You know, allowed to have motors out here. You can have like a trolling motor, but you can't have any gas powered engines out here. So, let me check my teeth. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, check your teeth. I'm here with one of the funniest <laughs> ladies I think I've ever met. I'm gonna let her introduce herself to you and talk about her channel a little bit, and then you're gonna see the inside of her uh, wonderful truck camper here. This thing is just, well, I'll, I'll let you see it. All right, hold on, let me make sure I get you on here. Good. Oh, yeah, perfect. Hello there, and welcome to Barney's Dream World. <laughs> Barney is the name of my truck, and this is the Dream World right here. Welcome to my grand and glorious home away from home, where it has all of the most wonderful amenities. Yep, happy lights. Yes. Visions from around the world. <laughs> Inspiration, <laughs> hope, home is mm -hmm. where we park it, Yeah. and me and my baby. And uh, I, I don't know, so my fishing me, pole? Tell me who you are and about your channel. Oh, you need to know that. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm Donna, and I'm with Dream Creations and Adventures. Yes. And this is one of my dream creations, and I'm always on an adventure because... Well, everything in life's an adventure. Some are good, some are bad. But just like every adventure we have, they come to an end and another one starts again. Awesome. <laughs> you're uh, you're fantastic. Yeah. Uh, I, oh no, you, you, sit, gotta, you gotta you gotta. We gotta. have sat here and talked earlier. It's gonna rain on us. And I wish we'd had the the camera on earlier because we laughed for 20 minutes. <laughs> I laughed with my side hurting. We're we're kindred spirits. I mean, we have a lot in common, um, our faith especially, and it's just, we've had such a good time. So I wanted to introduce you guys to her. Um, hopefully, next year we'll get to come back, and, and you're going to come back next year? Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Hear my stomach? That's not thunder, that's my stomach. <laughs> <laughs> I've been eating too much. <laughs> Marshmallows and spinach dip. Oh, and, man. <laughs> whew. Anyway, but we've had a blast, so thank you for... Sharing, Thank you sharing so much. with me. I appreciate it. I have had a wonderful time. Yes. And I tell you what, today has been such a blessing with Kenny, you know, and his demonstration, um, the fire starters, uh, sweet fire. Yeah. Man, that is some awesome stuff. <laughs> He's got some really great products. That I, hey, I, I got me a, a, a bigger pot. So now when I'm out adventuring in my home in the ranger <laughs> yep i got a sign and i also have a sign that says let me see i can't remember <laughs> attitude is everything Hold on, let me so see. pick a good one let me here go back to that because i don't think i saw it on the let me get here Hold all on. right here we go there you go home in the ranger 
<laughs> you want me to take my... Yeah, you black out curtain. I'm black out. I black it out in here. Yeah, this place is awesome. Yeah, I like her truck, man. It is cool. Oh, and we got to wait. <laughs> because I like my world to be lit up. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, I'm going to zoom in on it. I love it. And you ride motorcycles. I do, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yep. I ride motorcycles. I do anything and everything I can. And even if I can't, I don't believe my dream world's over because if you can dream it, you can do it. Awesome. Doesn't matter what size. And just like the other picture of my um, motorcycle. Oh, yeah. Hold it on. says on it. Let me zoom in. I can't read it with me. <laughs> I can't see <laughs> There you go. Don't look for big things. Just do small things with great love. There you go. No matter what it is. That's a good picture of you, too. I got a good shot of it. Awesome. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. That's cool. All right. All right. Hey, thanks so much, Kenny. Thank you. I really appreciate it. So we're supposed to get some rain in the morning, so I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. And thank you for watching another episode of Ugly 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for coming along this little mini adventure. We'll see you on the next one.